Okay. So we're going to go to this one book called Nine or Ten by Nora Rainey Baskin. A September 11 story. In this book, four very different teenagers learn very valuable lessons in life about hate, patriotism, the power of standing up for what's right. When they briefly meet, the 9-11 Memorial Service in New York City. There's Mahid, an American Muslim from Columbus, Ohio. Will, a white boy from Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Amy, a white girl from Los Angeles, California. And Sanya, a black boy who lived in Brooklyn, were directly impacted by the terrorist attack. The stories give the readers some insight into how these students' lives changed as a result of the 9 11 attack. This is quite a story to tell. And it deeply moves me how all those people try to protect those who are in danger. Even if it costs them their own lives. with the beginning of these children's stories. Amy was starting classes in the new school of Los Angeles. Her mother was at a meeting in New York City. She was already feeling sorry for herself when a girl suggested um, that her parents moved to Los Angeles to get divorced. She built up a case for her dad and she was so angry with her mother by the time that she would finally talk but she did not even tell her mother that she left her when they had to the conversation. Nahid, a Muslim, was upset because she had unintentionally caused Liza, a girl in her class, to be teased when she tried to get her to stop asking questions about her job. She already felt self-conscious because she was different from the other students. She was more irritated by Eliza's questions, making her feel even more like an outcast. She realized that she had to treat, that she had treated Eliza badly and made plans to apologize to her the following day. Will's father had died while trying to help a man who had a car. He was still overcome with grief and anger more than a year after his father's death. The only thing that interested him was Claire, a girl in his class. However, he felt he had ruined his friendship with her by asking her to go bike riding with him. But then wrestling his boy his friends instead of paying attention to her. On the day of September 11, Ami apologized to her parents that had no plans to divorce. She called her mother to apologize and caught her just as she was leaving her hotel for her meeting at the World Trade Center. 
when her mother realized how upset she was, she decided to stay in the hotel lobby and talk to her daughter instead of be on time for the meeting. Sahio was close enough to the World Trade Center that he could see the ash covered people running away from the wreckage, while emergency response workers ran towards the disaster to help. A lot of these children had a tough time during this thing. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, okay. Let's continue. Sahio prayed that both his grandmother and Garden were safe. Will and Claire both skipped school and happened to meet in a field near their homes. Claire admitted to Will that she liked him and rewarded him with a kiss. But it was interrupted when they had a jet engine and saw a hijacked airplane flying sideways over them. Now he had felt better when she apologized to Eliza and suggested they sit together at lunch. Still, she was haunted by Eliza's words to her when the heat had first approached Eliza, something terrible had happened. School officials finally held an assembly during which they told the students that there had been a terrorist attack in America that morning. The heat was waiting to get on the bus, but she panicked when she heard another student say that Muslims had been responsible for the attack. She went to the elementary school to get her little sister and the two of them walked home to avoid any confrontation. It was very hard for her. It was very hard for her considering that it had been her own people that had caused the attack. But still things got better for Nahid. And I'm glad because I like her. On the one year anniversary of the attacks, the four students and their families visited Ground Zero for the memorial service. Because they were clearly Muslim, Nahid and her family were confronted by a angry white man who insisted they had no business at the service. Amy had the man's angry accusations and wondered why no one was trying to help their family. The father clearly did not want to fight and was trying to protect his wife and daughters behind him. Suddenly, Will and Sahir stepped between the angry man and Nahid's family. New York firefighters, as well as various other people from a crowd, began to join them, standing up to protect the fellow Americans against the man's hate. I think that was really inspirational for the ending. And I liked how everyone was trying to help the Muslims. After all, it wasn't their fault that those people had done the attack. And they were all Americans after all. I really like how the story goes and 
The lessons that each of the kids learned was really inspirational to me. I really recommend this book to anyone hey. who wants to learn about the September 11 attack and anybody who just wants a nice good read and you have to treat people with equality because we're all human I give this book a rating of 10 out of 10